Hey, Kalira, I am so excited to be here today to introduce our new head football coach and athletic director, Mr. Jason Hamlin. How are you, sir? I'm good, how are you? We go way back, we grew up together, we graduated together, and you have had a really cool career. Will you give us a little bit of background on what you've been doing kind of since you graduated college and started your teaching career and coaching career? So upon graduating from UAB, I got involved in coaching, coached at Jess Lanier High School, which is now Bessemer City. Okay. So I was there for about a year and a half. Then I worked my way back to Thompson, where I coached for two and a half years. Um, left Thompson to reunite with one of my college defensive coaches at Spain Park. So I was at Spain Park for five years. And most recently, I've been at McAdory as the defensive coordinator for the last two years. So bringing it a little bit closer to home, you're an Alabaster boy here. Tell us a little bit about your, your life. You got a beautiful wife and yes. you got two precious kiddos. So I married my college sweetheart. Her name is Charlie Hamlin. Uh, we got married, I think, 12, 13 years ago. Don't be mad, know, babe. Know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, then we've got a six-year-old little girl named Gray and a one-year-old named Scout. So things are quite busy at your home. Uh, crazy. crazy. Crazy busy. Scout keeps us on our toes, and Gray's kind of the calm, collective one, and Scout is me as a child. So typical first yes. and second oh, yeah. child. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So things are crazy, and things are, I'm sure, getting a little crazier with you being the head coach. Yes. Everybody's so excited. Will you tell me a little bit about what are your expectations as a coach here at Calera High? So based off everything I've heard, Calera, I mean, this by no means, Coach Simpson has done a great job here. I'm not coming in to say that I'm going to change everything he did because he did have some success. I mean, it's very difficult to go from 4A to 6A in the last four to six years, right. but I'm going to kind of put my own spin on it. I mean, I'm wanting to get as many kids out, the kids involved as possible, want to base everything off of love and trust so that they know that I love and care for them and I'm going to go to bat for them, I'm going to do whatever I can to help them. I just expect the kids to kind of show up every day and put their heart into it too. So I love that. It, it just sounds so much like a family. You want this to be a family environment yes. for sure with you and the kids. Now, as far as the community involvement, what are your expectations there? I would love for the community to be as involved as they want to be. If they want to come up to the school and talk to me, I mean, as long as I don't have class or I have meeting time, they can come on in. You can email me. I mean, I live in Alabaster right now. It's an 11 minute drive for me to get to Calera. We actually do most of our shopping in Calera yeah, because it's easier yeah. to get here as opposed to Alabaster sometimes. I mean, I want the community to see me as involved as they want to be involved. So I'll be at the youth league games, at the baseball games, softball games, volleyball games. I mean, I'm, I'm all in. Well, I cannot wait to see what this year brings. You're meeting the kids soon this Tuesday. week, right? I think Tuesday will be the day. So in a, in a few days, you'll be meeting the kids. I know you guys will start forming that bond and I can't wait to see what's to come this season at Calera. Congratulations Thank to you. you. Calera, you got a good one. Thank you.